Alexi Gomez will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Now here's the pitch. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Boy, he is putting on a clinic out there right now. These guys don't know what to do. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pedro Alvarez will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Now another 0-2. And this will be fouled away. No runs, just one hit. One error in the ballgame for the Dodgers to this point. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0-2 once more. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Joey Halliday will stand in. Base hit his first time around. Here's the first offering. He goes the other way as this is hit well out toward deep left field. Oh, and he misses it. Yeah, it looked like a fairly routine play there. I don't know if he took his eye off it or what, but he winds up basically whiffing on the catch, and that's going to wind up a two-base air. Wallace McLeod to come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now's where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field quite like having two out airs lead the right. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now here's the pitch. Got him. As he just continues to blow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Brown will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And if he's had any postseason jitters, he hasn't shown them to me. No, he's been outstanding. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Now the pitch. And he powers the cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. A strike away. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So add one more name to the record book here as he strikes out the side on nine pitches. More on tap from game five after this. Len Engel will come forward now to begin the seventh inning in what's been a very briskly played ball game here tonight. And that's what happens when you get two starters that are on top of their game. Been great pitching, great defense, not a lot of base runners, and very even game through six innings. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Another 0-2 coming. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. Here this is one more time on show track. You can see, check his swing there. And I think he did so in time, but you can clearly see the bat pitch in the strike zone. And I think ultimately that was a called third strike. Here's Bryce Harper now. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. And even though he's pitching well, this is a part of the order that he's really got to worry about. Now they can turn a good outing into a bad one pretty darn quick. Cut fastballs in for a strike two and one. No runs, just one hit, and two errors thus far on the Dodger line score. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball, two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full, three and two. What's the call here? I still don't think I throw him a strike. There's a good chance that he's going to be chasing something, expand the zone, so you make him show you that he can hold back. 
And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. The 3 2 one more time. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Full count pitch on its way. And this is fouled back and out of play. The next 3 2. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll round it and try for third. The relay throw, the tag, and he's out at third. And a poor decision to try to stretch it that time. That's a long walk back to the dugout after that. He's already in scoring position. Remember, he's the tying run, too. And he's thrown out trying to stretch two into three. And he takes this one high, one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. And oh, it comes up on him there as it kicks off the glove. Ah, and they're able to keep the inning alive as you check out the numbers on his performance so far. That's just the third hit he's allowed to this point. He's been pretty much in control the whole way. Now the Brewers manager's up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll depart with the lead and a chance to be the winner, but he is responsible for the tying run at first. Mariano Encarnacion will take over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Justin Allegri. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to this special postseason edition of Inside the Show. Let's take a look at the latest from around Major League Baseball. For World Series Game 2, 